I want to welcome everyone uh, to this 10th anniversary Molecular Foundry event. Leaders from Congress, from the lab, and from the scientific communities that are just so well, well represented by the Molecular Foundry. So it's, uh, it's terrific to see you all here. 10 years ago, uh, on March 24, 2006, the Foundry building was dedicated. Uh, so the Molecular Foundry building uh, came up and we're here really to celebrate that uh, today, that dedication. I'm very excited about where the foundry is 10 years after it really started. It's beyond where my expectations were. Uh, I'm really pleased to see that the two pillars of the idea behind the foundry, that is science at the highest level and then cooperation and sharing, that those are both operating. The age of computation is not here just because of advances in algorithms and in hardware. The age of computation is here because of the culture that places like the Foundry set the highest bar for. It's because of those interactions. It's because of the people. And it's because of how places like the Foundry set that incredibly high standard for how people should work together that the age of computation in materials design is actually here today. Well, this being the 10th year anniversary of the Molecular Foundry, it tells me as a policymaker, the Department of Energy was very wise in uh, establishing uh, facilities like the Foundry where specialized equipment, people with expertise are in one place, providing a place for other users around the world and this nation to be able to bring their innovation, their ideas to fruition. The frontier is just only limited by our own imagination. I think it's really wonderful to commemorate these kinds of milestones. It's a community building event, and it also has the effect of causing people to stop and be contemplative for a moment. Okay, 10 years in, good 10 years. Really the question is, what are the next 10 years gonna be like? So it's a good moment to contemplate that and to organize well so that that next period is even better than the first one. The nanoscale used to be about you know, making materials at that link scale and manipulating them, but now it's kind of more broad. It's about materials in general trying to control any material, and that broadens things considerably to energy and biomedicine and information technology, and it really kind of lets us set aim at, at those sorts of materials in those sectors. And I, I really think in the next 10 years, especially with the increasing industrial engagement we have at the foundry, you're gonna see us impacting those spaces pretty considerably.